sports. It's in the game. Lovely weather, beautiful stadium, the Zignali Duna Park here in Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Augsburg. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. Has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Minier as fullbacks, and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And now the starting 11 for Augsburg. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And the match begins. Good looking pass. Into the advanced position. But they took care of the situation defensively. Jude Bellingham. On to Zulu. Now Minier. Nico Schlotterbeck. It's with Guerrero. Schlotterbeck. Brandt with it. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. 
Well, Marco Reus, usually a potential match winner. Stuart, what are your expectations regarding his performance today? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Envis Rejbetsai. Possession one. Might be a chance here. Is it going to be? And a decent save. Full credit. Guerrero with the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And putting his body on the line. Can't get the shot through. Attending to his defensive chores. Oh, surely! A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. cut out Guerrero Özcan now Minier well they couldn't keep it really poor timing and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card well he's gone into the book well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. surprised to see him go for goal but a routine save at the end Meunier now with Brandt takes aim and the keeper more than equal to it Can someone get on the end of this? And close down straight away. Breaking at pace. And giving the ball away. Brandt. Meunier. It's not a bad ball. Well, thumped clear. Niederlechner went in strongly to win the ball it's a good Dortmund move in the making well it could be on for him here tries to lift it oh football finesse at its very best you can't argue with that finish
Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Space on the flank. Giving it a try. Determined defending. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Oh, a smart stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Minier. Zali Özcan with it. Guerrero. An unforced error, you've got to say. Minier, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stewart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, they've dominated this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box, and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second period. Possession one. Bellingham. An encouraging move from Dortmund. And a long way out. And the keeper was up to the task. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not cleared away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. And that is going to be all for the first half here in Dortmund. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. And now they get the ball rolling. So the second half is underway. And I must say it really was a terrific performance from Borussia Dortmund in the first 45. That's useful play. It's a weighted pass. And that's a straightforward stop. Guerrero, Schlotterbeck, advantage, Borussia Dortmund, really good interception, not a great challenge, free kick here, and he could really get at the opposition,
Zula getting the ball away. Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Brandt. Rice. Guerrero. The ball with Marco Rice. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. And he takes on the shot. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Guerrero with the corner. Well clattered away. Guerrero. Is he going to put it away? And no nonsense defensive clearance. An effective challenge. Can they hit on the break? Decent position. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And plenty of room in the wide area. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Pumps clear. Minier. The ball with Marco Royce. Yusufa Mukoko. He takes aim. No strong hand on the ball. Well, Dortmund have been dominant in every department. Just look how many chances they've created. They've been excellent today, I have to say. Oh, did so well to deny him. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. On the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Bauer. Running room in the wide position. Excellent block. And they're making a change. Now sending it in. Well, still an issue here. Well, really making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Guerrero. Yusufa Mukoko. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, we can reflect on what has been a fabulous display by Dortmund. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Brandt. Well, it might still work out for them. And I think the threat has been averted. Could be a chance to break here. All hands on deck. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Teammates available. Maya. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Rice. A room to roam on the wing. Able to skip past his man. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Here it is now, a substitution. Guerrero with the corner. Well, a really good idea, but missing by a large margin. Making progress. Targets available. Cross comes in. Not messing around with that clearance. And that will do it. The referee blows his whistle. And three points for Borussia Dortmund. Overall, how would you assess their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Well, it could be on for him here.